So just looking at the idea of creating a illustrator file from a drawing. So first of all, quick little thing, when you're looking for drawings. Search image. And you can a cool little trick for getting two-dimensional drawings in to Illustrator is first find the type that you want. You pick line drawing, it makes life a little bit easier. So I'm going to pick this one here and save that link, which I've already done. Now I'm just going to place the image on my baseball board. So place image. Place. What I want to do now is convert that image into a line drawing. So, with my image trace preview, it needs to be a little bit more. So, I can change it to sketch start or whatever preset silhouettes and have a look what it's going to look like before I change it into a DXF outlines. Let's just leave it as a tracing result back that off a little bit so it's a little bit clearer. Now I'll go from preview, untick preview to trace. So now I've converted it into a trace drawing. Then all I need to do is make sure that I select object expand so I can edit this one. So now I can change the fill in it. So in this case I will change, get rid of the fill and line type. I can change the stroke, so I make it really, really thin. Uh, and at this point here is where I could edit it some more, get some bits and pieces out of that I want, by simply selecting and getting out the different bits that I don't want. But I don't want to do that at the moment. So what I want to do is go File, Export, Export. Export. So just over here, a little menu. So check that it's in millimeters. So now that's been successfully exported. So all we've got to do now is go over to SolidWorks, and then from SolidWorks we've got to open this file. And the SolidWorks just opening. So it works, and what we're going to do is go File Open. We're going to select the Crab Core DXF, not the JPEG. I'm going to do the DXF. Open. And because it's a DXF, we've got to convert it. We want to convert it into a 2D image, making sure that's in millimeters. Finish. We have our drawing in SolidWorks as a line drawing. The only problem is at the moment SolidWorks doesn't know how big this drawing is, so I'm just going to put a boundary area on this, take a sketch like that. 150 mil. That needs to find. No problem with this at the moment as well. This is a definable line, being a SolidWorks line. These ones here are vectors. So if you see when I tap the icon there, it changed to like an S or a snake. That means that it's a, um, a spline line, and you can't put a dimension on it. But at the moment now, I could go through and actually go and delete different components of these um, crab claws if I wanted to.